this. This is the reality. Okay, so in Islam we don't deal in usury either. No, yeah. But across the board, we don't, we don't, it's not ethno. Yeah? If you don't think about Islam, it unites everybody. It unites classes, it unites um, sexes, it unites uh, nationalities, and even religions. Because your Jewish ancestors, even though you're not oppressing, your Jewish ancestors only survived because of the Muslims in Andalusia. Because the Christians were wiping you out, and who protected you for 800 years? The Muslims. Okay, I'm not talking about history, obviously. No, I am. They were good parts no, and they were bad parts. No, I am. No, I'm telling you about history. For 800 years, the Jews would have been wiped out if it were not for the Muslim protection. And there were bad parts uh, where they got along. What? I mean, I'm sure you're aware. I mean, I've, hit, I've heard. See, these guys know. You guys know, don't you? You know that if it wasn't for Islam, you guys would have been wiped out in Europe. Many, we are grateful for the many good parts that, that my Muslims gave us a safe haven. At yeah. the same time, we can't forget but, the other parts. But, 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 but let's just say safe haven. We're talking 800 years. 800 years in certain countries. That's to keep it in context. Yeah, Andalusia. Andalusia. In context. That means that we had great In which country? Spain, in which country? Spain. Well, it wasn't a country, was it? What was it? It was the Islamic State. Yeah, it was an Islamic State. So within the Islamic State. But within. The, but let's not forget that the same period you had many Islamic countries, not the Islamic State. Many. Countries. But we're talking. No, but like we're. Morocco and. Uh, 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 oh, oh well, you want to talk. Well, well you, let's go into detail. Let's focus on the good part. The good part no, no, no. Most of well, the time, I'm well, the well, I'm explaining to him that his ancestors, they were. Uh, protected and survived the Christian onslaught in Europe for 800 years. The golden age of Jewry was at that time. It's where your civilization flourished. And when it came for the time when the Queen Isabella and Ferdinand returned and they pushed the Muslims out of Spain, what did you guys do? Yes. No, what did you do? Tell, tell everyone what you said. We had no option but to leave. No, what did you do? In, on, on the left, we went to Muslim countries. No, you asked the Muslims, can we come with you? Because the Muslims retreated back to Morocco. And the uh, and give the jizya back, so we can't protect you no more. And um, come with us, and, and, and invited them to come tomorrow. And that's where they got sanctuary from what was going on. The simple fact is this: on the long, on the link history, we had great times on the Muslim rule. Islamic State is, is the key words we're yeah. using here, not Muslim country. Islamic State under the state, and, and, and eight hundred years of no, no, I know, but we like to establish the ground. But yes, history is dotted, sadly. People, people are people. And the Muslims suffered as well. On the many, people are people. Uh, Muslims people. are suffering today in Israel. I'm talking about Muslims under Muslim countries as well. No, no, I'm talking about Muslims in Israel. They're suffering under the Jews. Don't into politics. Let's leave that. They're well, suffering the least that they suffer in any other Muslim Say it again, sorry? They're suffering the least that they Tell that to people in Gaza. What? Tell that to the people of Gaza. Compare them to how Muslims are suffering in different Okay, compare that to the Muslims in Morocco. You, what you just you what you just said is that the Muslims are suffering less in Gaza than anywhere else in the world. Where? You, just said you picked up Israel as an example where Muslims are suffering, whilst there are many, many more Muslims suffering in Islamic countries. Than Gaza? I don't know, more or less, but there's millions of Muslims. The world's biggest Islam. prison, Gaza. It's not a prison. It is a prison. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not a prison. Is it, can, can they leave the country? Oh, well, there's a reason. Can they leave the country? Okay, can, that, can they leave the country? We're, we're can I fly to Gaza? No, 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 I understand that. Can I fly to Gaza? You, you were looking for an example where Muslims are suffering. No. And for some reason, from the entire Middle East, where in most Middle Eastern countries Muslims are suffering from Muslims, you looked up where a small minority are suffering from Jews. Yes. It's quite a strange. I, I do not believe Gaza is a small minority. It is. But I believe it's men, women, and children in an open air prison. But with who? And, and let's focus as well. The prison by who? One side Israel, one side. One side Israel, one side. It's Egypt. Yeah, Egypt. Egypt. And who's Egypt. telling Egypt what to do? Oh, they listen to me. Why is Egypt not telling Israel what to do? Well, who controls that area? What do you mean? Egypt, Israel can't tell Egypt what to do. Oh, Israel can't tell Egypt what to do. It's in their benefit to keep the border shut there. Why? It's in their benefit because you don't want the people from Gaza to come into Egypt. Oh, okay. C can I fly to Gaza? No. Okay. What do you mean? You can get into Gaza to get a pyramid, yes. There's a problem. No, can I fly into Gaza? Gaza airport. airport? No. Right. Can I okay. can I go by boat into Gaza? Yes. Can you fly into Kabul? Can you fly into Kabul? 
Uh, now? Yes. Well, come on, we know what's going on in Kabul at the moment, so, isn't so, it? So it's Kabul a prison. So it's Afghanistan a prison now? Sorry. Why would it be a prison now? Because a place where you can't fly in. Is why can't I fly in there now? I'm asking you. No, why can't I fly in there now? I'm asking you. Can you fly into Kabul? No, why can't I? So tell me why. All right, no, I can't. Why can't I? Oh, okay, why can't I? Please okay, shut well, up yeah. long enough, I'll tell you. Okay, you don't have to use foul language. Well, I know. Well, I didn't use foul language. Okay. Okay, so I can't fly into Kabul right now because protecting the airport is US soldiers and outside of Kabul are, are Taliban. Okay. Now, everyone's leaving at the moment. The, the US Army is facilitating people leaving. Okay. There will come a time when I can fly to Kabul. When it is, when the US have finally left and the Taliban have complete control. Then you can fly to Kabul, yes. When can I fly to Gaza? What? When can I fly to Gaza? When they'll start behaving. When they start behaving? Yes. When, Israel, when Israel gave back Gaza, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, personally, I'm not a supporter of Israel, but when Israel gave back Gaza to the Palestinian people, it wasn't a prison. They turned it into a prison after... No, 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 no. no. ...springboard to attack Israel. No, so not at all. It's not, it's not, re it's not ancient closer. history, it's modern history from the last 20 years. Listen, you you're acting yes, like no. it's an equal on each side. It's an occupied I mean, force. Absolutely. You absolutely. Listen, listen. What happened in Nazi Germany is happening in Gaza. I disagree with no this. difference. I disagree with that Complete difference. I find that means I find completely, that completely the same. That means that just tells us one thing. What's that? You you're might ignorant. know what's going on in Gaza. I don't know. I have no idea what Nazi Germany was all about. Why? A shame on you. If you can make this comparison. Why not? That's why. why not? Why? If you make this comparison, you've proved, you've told all the people standing yes. here that you have don't have an inkling about history or stuff that happened not 500 years ago, but 67 yes, years Yes, yes. That's it, simple. I think it's the same. What? I don't see the difference. Okay. I, I, I see, I, I, I see the treatment. It's very warped mindset. Why? That's my personal Why? opinion. Okay, who because cares? Because you see a genocide of six million people. Okay. What they believe. My, no, 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 my set, mate. My set, mate. Finish when you're going to talk go about Germany and yeah. Nazi Germany yeah, yeah, go on. and the Holocaust. Yeah. I have the right to talk without being interrupted. Why? Why do you have the right to talk without being interrupted? You know what? Interrupt and enjoy the conversation. Shame on you. Yeah. <laughs> Alternative history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gaza is not a prison. Yeah. Cheers, lads. In what, in what way? Sorry. In what way? Is, uh, I'm asking you one thing. Was Gaza a prison when Israel returned it? Just answer me that question. Yes. Israel returned what? It didn't belong to them. I'm you didn't answer the question. Okay. Israel, question. Israel are occupying the land illegally. Why the, the international the community is ignoring it, I don't know. The subject about prison. So yeah, yeah. Prison. Oh, okay, what's a prison? A place where you where you can't fly with an airplane. No, an air, a prison is where you cannot leave and return at your own free will. Yes, right, right, there you go. So Job done. Was it Job done. Was the status in Gaza the same? I thought you guys were going. Was the status... I know you would like us to go now. It makes sense. All right, have a good one. Uh, in, what, in what way was... Um, you said, what you said, what, why they got angry? In what way? Why? Because I, I likened the way that the uh, Israelis are treating the Palestinians yeah. is the way that the Na they were treated in Nazi Germany. In the same way? Ca in the way that they... Um, what do you mean? What examples? But how were they treated in Nazi Germany? Um, in the end, they were killed. No, no. How did it start? It didn't start that way, did yeah, it? It started. Started Herman Goring, big noses, cartoons. Yeah, dehumanized. Yeah. yeah, that's what happens. So what happens? You do, do you, once you dehumanize a people, yeah, you can do what you like to them. Why do you think when Israel were attacking Gaza, there was Israeli citizens all having parties watching the place burn, burn Gaza, burn? Was it not? I mean, no. There, no? There was that, as much as that as there is of any. There, there was, it wasn't. There wasn't. Settees brought them to the mountain so they could see the, the, the blaze. Really? Maybe there was. I don't you know, know. see them celebrating when Masjid al Aqsa was on uh, fire? That, yeah, that, yeah. But that, that, actually, that, they weren't celebrating that because. I know, I know, and they were celebrating something else which got caught up in that. I know that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't mean they would do that whole celebration was because Masjid al-Aqsa was on fire. They were celebrating some other particular day that was going on, and Masjid al-Aqsa happened to be on fire, and they joined in that. Yeah. I know. Was it? What's the point? I don't again, think. Again, I'm, I'm, the question is Gaza a prison or not? Gaza is an open air prison. Yeah. Is it an open air prison? Yeah. We, we agree. I, I don't. So what, what? So what are you here to argue against? I'm, I'm, I'm here to argue against basically what you said about the, the Nazis, how they treated uh, the Jews, or Germany how they treated the Jews. Yeah. So if you, if you look at Hermann Göring and what he did, the yeah. cartoons, the propaganda. You know, all the pictures of cartoons with, 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 with big noses and all this kind of stuff, creating this idea that these people were less than you. Then you have them saying that they're threatened us economically after the First World War and all of this stuff and the Great Depression, yeah. and these are the people responsible. The Jews didn't help themselves by declaring economic war on Germany. They didn't help themselves in that aspect. But what's happened there is happening to the Muslims today. Yeah? Where? Which Muslims? All Muslims. Muslims in France. 
Muslims in France, right, where women are told to strip on the beaches. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Muslims in France where young girls can't choose to wear a scarf yet they can have sex with a 15 year old when they're 15. Yeah? This is what I'm saying to you. And I hear all these people going, oh, the Taliban, oh, the Taliban, all oh, the women's rights, the women's rights. Where's the rights of the women of France? I agree with that. Where's, where's, where's the compassion? Where's the call out? Where's all these feminists? I agree with that. Not even seen, mate. So the point here is this. This is double standards. And when double standards occur, this is what happens. You dehumanize the people that you can do what you like with them. Yeah. No, I think the reason why they're so upset, they probably had uh, maybe ancestors who were killed in the Holocaust. Okay, am I saying the Holocaust was a good thing? Am I, am no, I glorifying you, it? You're praying towards having Gaza. Although what's happening in Gaza is terrible. It's not, it's not, a, it's a lot of things like uh, oppression, a lot of words. But one thing it isn't, and I disagree with, 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 with the claim that a lot of people make is genocide, which is. Oh, it's not genocide. No. Why not? Because the genocide is when you systematically kill a population. Right. Um, so when you go in with tanks and airplanes and say, who are you killing? They haven't gone in with tanks actually. They haven't gone in with tanks. Not for a long time. Oh no, so they're going with F-16s instead. No. No. no they, what are they going with? It's mainly with airstrikes actually. 